Hello VR Moyax. Welcome back in the second episode of Tutorial. Today we're talking about camera position, how to avoid a blind spot and get maximum tracking area with your four camera and service setup. After doing several different holes in my ceiling, I could not find the right place. I decided to do it properly by doing specific calculation. Sony in the specification speaks about the field of view. I quickly check to find out this is not exactly true. After my work I saw these numbers. After many combinations and experiments, I got these results. Cameras looking down should look a little lower. To achieve this, I use a metal handles. They are flexible, which help in regulation. If you place your cameras to hike, you will see the blind spot near the floor. To achieve this precision in camera position, I use some markers on my floor and on the table. I made some markers on my floor because now I'm always to know where is my VR room center and where I need to place my table to make the tracking pose calibration. At one point I realized that the A4 paper in the US and Europe are different. After printing on European version of the paper, the calibration mat is smaller. The data we provide to the PESMO service is incorrect. You can edit the PDF file so that the Made in Europe prints on two sheets, or as I did, draw a mat on the table. Now, when the correct match is directed to the Steam VR front, we can start tracking pose calibration. Before we do that, it would be right to set the colors. I run the Steam VR because there is no turn on all bulbs option in the HMD color setup. Personally, I do it in several phases. First on the floor, then later increasing the height. I do it because the closer to the camera, the light intensity is growing. Colors start to mix, which should be prevented. In the final phase, I put three colors near each of the cameras. The intensity of light is then greatest for the camera.
And now we can start the trucking pulse calibration for the controllers and for the HMD. If you don't know how to do this, please look to the description below. Now we can start SteamVR room setup. A moment before, please press the reset position in VR. Now when you make your room setup, make sure you tap your PS3 move in advanced mode near the cameras. I propose to try several times to correct the position of the room in SimVR to be as close as possible to the square in terms of the position of the camera. The barrier like this will also increase the immersion, so we will not to know our position in reality. Before you start the Steam VR again, please locate and delete this file. You can also rename it this. Finally, the last important things: placing a ping pong ball on the headset. In my opinion, this is the only good place for this. If the position of the ball is bad, Steam VR will not know that the position of the screen has changes. Placing the bar together with the screen will always provide a good indication of the position of the controllers for SteamVR. Even with a very low ceiling, if the two cameras in the same time see the bar, the tracking will be smooth and alright. You can see that on this video. After these treatments, we can simply turn on the Steam VR, forget about the start and select calibration, camera position is perfect, and enjoy quality similar to that shown on this video. At uh, this time, uh, I call this quality level 1. I just know it was not over. That will probably be a uh, level 2 in the future. Alright, and that will be enough for today. Sorry I keep you waiting so long, but I totally don't have time to do this. Episode 3 will be the last of the series. I will tell you how to reach the level 2 in Vive Emu setup. Only then everything will be work 100% as it should. Alright, this time, except the next episode, much faster than before. Today, thanks for watching guys, and see you next time. Peace.